What's up, everybody? Uh, it's your favorite ignorant American. I am broadcasting from my brand new studio, and uh, there's some kinks we're still working out, but this place, I've set it up. It's going to be nicer. I might try to do a little bit more with the channel. Um, so if you start to see some new things, some increase in uh, almost professionalism, uh, that's to be expected. So um, hope you enjoy it. Now that I got my new place, like I said, uh, you should be expecting more content on that at least three to four a week in terms of videos coming from me. So very excited about all of that. Today, what I want to talk about is Mason Cox. So uh, I want to get back into looking at some AFL videos. The most highly rec I've got, I've got some other ones I want to go to, but the most highly recommended one was of Mason Cox and his journey to get to the AFL. Uh, and not wanting to ruin the story, I didn't do any research on this one because that's what the whole video is about. So we're going to watch the video. Uh, one thing I do know is when we watched the 2018 AFL Grand Final uh, in a previous video, Mason Cox was playing in that match uh, for Collingwood, I believe. And uh, he was a big boy. He made some crucial marks, if I remember correctly, and it uh, seemed like he was a pretty good player. So it was a little bit, um, it was news to me that he uh, actually may have never, uh, he may have never even made it to the AFL and probably at one point was pretty terrible at this game. So can't wait to see this, guys. Let's click in. When Mason came to us, no American player had ever played a senior game of AFL footy. It's a one in whatever you want to call it because no one had ever done it. Mason Cox, redshirt senior from Ireland Village. All right, so he's a basketball player. Six minutes all year. I went to Oklahoma State University. Redshirted, so never played. Playing basketball when I was a freshman. I've never picked up a basketball in my life, really. We played at the right So he never played basketball there was either. GA at the women's team, and she asked, Would you be interested in helping out? Pretty much called the dream team, and they played against the women's team and practiced other teams and played against them. I was kind of like, Yeah, cool. Like, what do I get out of it? And she goes, Oh, we'll give you a free pair of shoes and maybe some kit. And I was like, Sweet. The men's team. I would take that too. Training with the women's team. And one of the coaches said, Who's that massive dude who's playing with the women's team? I'm like, why don't we have someone like that? I was in way over my head. All right, really so he just up, picked up a basketball as a freshman, redshirted on to, to the to college to the college team. Oh no! Aussie rules football. And I'm sure that didn't go well. Each other and what the hell is that? And it comes up and it's like AFL's biggest hits. <laughs> the first video Mason Cox watched on the AFL was the biggest hits. Holy cow! Is this really a sport? <laughs> I accepted a six-figure paying job at ExxonMobil. So I went to the tryouts. Everyone that was there was interested in myself. It became pretty serious pretty quickly. That week, I threw the cap in the air, you know, I got the degree on stage, made my parents proud. A week later, I flew to Australia, and my life changed. Oh, I doubt it. All right, don't doubt it. Coming to Australia was just to give me a showcase of what AFL was. Saw my first AFL game, sat next to a North Melbourne player. He explained to me, you know, that's six points. That's a point. Hits the post, it's worth a point. You know, they so at, off, at this point, really Mason does not even know the and rules and yet. He goes, okay, cool. So these are the teams that are interested in you. Here's the contracts. Um, let me know what you think. The international rookies are whopping 200. Hey, and he signed on. The same height as Aaron Sanderlands. Looks quite exciting. Have you seen him try to kick waste the money? He'll oh, never play an play AFL game. Play. Wow. So this dude was getting burned just by uh, Australians. Probably for probably because he was terrible to start. To go play a sport I've never heard of in a place I've never been with no friends or no family in, in Melbourne. Straight burned. They stuck a footy in my hand. I thought it was uh, pretty much rugby ball. Like, I had no idea. The kangaroo skin and a Sharon is, like, the name of it. And I don't know. Like, it was all... I'm learning things. So a footy time. is his called kicking, a Sharon. His kicking was... And it's made of kangaroo skin. Crash course, Can you guys confirm that? what AFL was. Craig McRae and Anthony Rocker. Spent two and a half months with me and come around training the first day. It was sink or swim, really. We do this one drill, and you get a handball off to the coach. And, of course, Box is the one who you're handballing to. Go to handball to him, and I just remember looking at it. I look back and going, "Okay, we've got a bit of work to do." <laughs> Nathan Buckley like, is like the quintessential-looking footy coach. To me, that's like you say AFL coach. That's what I see. Am I embarrassing myself? But at the end of the year, I got to the point where I was thinking, "I might actually feel." Hey. 
He kicked it in the direction of the goal. Fox was the first one to tell me. They came out and said, look, you're going to debut. And that week was a massive week. It's Anzac Day, obviously. It's one of the he, he, so Cox year. debuted on Anzac Day? Oh, this could go really poorly. All the attention. Little country. I was ready to puke. I was that nervous. I was freaking out, you know. I didn't know what to do. And I was thinking, don't screw up. Just whatever you do, don't screw up. Don't screw up. Hey, you got a mark, buddy. Oh, man, he's shitting himself. And I can't imagine <laughs> what it's like to try and drop the ball that extra foot and a half to get it onto your foot. My hands would have been like this, holding that ball. Guys, does he do it? Does he get the freebie? This would have been a chip shot. Right down the middle. Okay. All right. We don't have to send you home immediately. <laughs> you get to stay and finish the game. Not that we needed to keep him grounded. But it was our job to keep him grounded. Ooh, did, did that one go uh, outside? Oh, dude, he, he can't kick. I was playing VFL, you know, I'd gotten dropped a few times, we were playing small. He had to set himself a new goal of being one of the best forwards in the competition. All right, so hold on, pause. So he said he'd been dropped a few times, so he had he been dropped from the team? Hey, can you guys clarify that? So had he been bouncing around teams or just dropped to other leagues? How does that work? Saturday night football at the Coliseum. All right, and we know what happened. In, well, I don't know about in this match, but we know what happened in the finals in general. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, my God, Butterfingers. Get your holes in your hands. So this dude's dropping everything, apparently, in the finals. pretty comfortably. I don't think I had a single mark the whole game and had maybe six touches or something and oh, getting suspended God. for the next week. Probably and he got suspended too. Of thinking, do I choose the right decision? Yeah, man. So, so what we're hearing is this guy, he's in the crucible. This is his low point, the biggest trial and trepidations. And that's not good. Even I know that. I said, you know what? This is a last ditch effort to show them what you're worth, to show them you can do this as a job. This is your career that you want to do for the rest of your life. What a beast this Tiger has become on and off the field. 22 consecutive wins of the MCG. It's hard All right. To around it, to be honest. We'd played Richmond twice and been overrun twice through the year. <laughs> this could be the biggest game that Mason Cox never gets a Come on, dude. Prelim final MCG. Matt Stevie. It happened pretty early. Get up. Nice. Another one. Oh, look at him staring everyone down. <laughs> Coming off the catch. <laughs> oh, that was too easy. These are like layup drills. Back to his basketball roots. His his one year of basketball roots. Nice. So hold on, does uh, did, does he have no organized sports background then? Uh, that temporary time at Oklahoma. Wow. Could you Are you kidding me? That four years, five years earlier with the guy that handballed over the top of my head. Um, Took down the second most mark not. in finals history. Nice. Nice. We know what happens in that grand final, though. Are they going to show us that? <laughs> no. You care enough, or that determined to get to wherever you want to go, it's it's possible. Dude, he could get up way higher than that too. You can't write the script any better. Well, you could have. We could have won the grand final. <laughs> Imagine that story. Uh, that's what we just said too, which is, uh, are you guys going to show that? Oh, probably not. Hey, that was cool. Um, and that's, that's an enlightening or, or a uplifting story. Um, you know, being able to show up in a sport in a country and a culture that, you know, you're completely unfamiliar with and learn to be a, what looks like the potential for a really good player. And, and what I remember from that final was, or the grand final was him, you know, making some really clutch marks and being in some of the right places at the right times. I don't know if I remember him scoring a lot, uh, but you guys tell me, 
Is he still out there trying to make a name? Is he dominating now? He seems to have all the physical attributes to be really excellent at the game. And, and, if, and tell me if I'm wrong, but it sounded like I could pick up a little bit of an Aussie accent coming through with uh, his, his American accent as well. It sounded like it was starting to blend together. So let me know if I'm just crazy or, or if I heard that. So cool. All right, guys. Hey, uh, appreciate it. Uh, check me out on the next one. And uh, we got some more AFL matches coming up um, in the near future on this channel. Peace.